drive up, we park, the car starts charging automatically. And, and you walk away. We're done. It seems almost too good to be true. Electric vehicles charged wirelessly. No heavy cords, nothing to trip on in the garage, just a pad on the floor and the charging takes care of itself. A very large number of people are concerned that they will forget to charge or somebody in their family, wife, spouse, daughter, boy, they will forget to charge. So this takes all that away. The kids didn't plug in the car, I can't go to work. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Whytricity solution uses magnetic induction. The company's senior director of product management says it's a combination of this power station, a charging pad, and a receiver unit mounted underneath the electric vehicle. So this power sends power, sends current along this cable into this pad, okay? This pad has a coil in it where we run current. And that sends the power to the vehicle side receiver, which also has a coil in it. And the secret there is magnetic resonance. It's the high voltage connection, these are cooling connections in and out, and this is the low voltage connection over here. So this goes under the vehicle, and that power transfer, the secret sauce, the magic, happens between this coil and that guy. And finding the right parking position could not be easier. So what you're looking at right now is what we call parking assistance. Basic idea is that what you're looking at here is a rendering of that ground pad. So it's making sure you park in the right spot. Exactly. I'm gonna go slow on purpose so that you can observe the red dot show up here. You see that? Oh yeah. I mistakenly assumed wireless charging would be slower and less efficient than the physical power cord. But watching the power come in proves otherwise. It's, and it's delivering 10.2 kilowatts. Uh, and that is, you know, that's, that's at least as good, if not better in many cases, than what you would get from a plug-in charger. It is the latest in a long line of electric vehicle technology advancements. And this will be available to consumers towards the end of this year. In Detroit, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.